Alright guys man, this will be our mid mount banner for the month. A first battle banner, premium as well, with Shunsu, Aizen and Soifun, which is not bad man, people wanted a basic Aizen and a basic Shunsu already, you know, for like a couple of months now, and I guess Soifun just makes sense, you know, we didn't have like a Soifun nowadays at all in the game, not a seasonal one, not a premium one, you know, the last one was like the blue Soifun, and uh, yeah man, let me tell you that bro, these are good units, these are actually good units, maybe not the units that you need, you know, maybe not the units that you want as well, but but Shusui and Soifun, both of them are really useful in guild quest and Aizen is overall like a PV unit and stuff. No one is a farmer by the way. Uh, and you do have the usual crown step of format, you know, with like the 3, 6, 10. You know, the step 3 is a 5, 6 is a 5, and 10 you're guaranteeing yourself one of the 3 units. And by the way, you can still choose the unit that you want at step 25, which is not bad, you know, like... Uh, it will be a good format and stuff, but like, let's talk about the units real quick, you know, uh, people wanted an ice and shit like that, like, hopefully it meets the expectations, you know, it's a mid month unit at the end of the day, uh, melee strong attack damage, and he has a new salt rate devastation, 40%, which is special move damage, every attack is inflicting weakening, and you do have the increased strong attack damage, 40% at full stamina as well, he recovers stamina between the quest Rios, Spritter plus one, he has Havoc, by the way, which is not bad frenzy plus one with sp boost you do have damage to the weakened enemies weakened defense full stamina guard break and hit hidden enemies recharge built in and the mind attribute character special move damage 30 percent skill so mainly mainly he's like a damage dealer stuff like that and he has a a good kit as well by the way that you can play with um you know so that way you can actually clear content really really fast it's not bad definitely not bad maybe he could have gotten debilitator so that way the weakening lasts just a little bit longer but um i think it's okay i think it's okay you know you cannot have everything on a mid mode unit and at the end of the day he will be a good unit to play with right definitely now the next one is a guild quest ranged hollow killer booster unit now but this time around it's normal attack though right normal attack damage 30 percent freeze the immunity for the quest dodging the hollow damage he has in terms of damage output he has flurry one bruiser 60 range damage killer effect as well and the new skill of 20 percent normal attack damage for those that are power in the team right which is not bad you know booster stuff like that is a really good unit for guild quest right really 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 good unit maybe it's not the shunsui that the people wanted but for now at least it's a new shunsui right um it's good though right it's really useful and stuff and the third unit is sorry for a melee strong attack damage paralysis on every attack strong attack 3 is a trap as well you know same trap like toshiro same trap like unohana or mayuri stuff like that you know you put it down and it's almost guaranteed that you will paralyze the enemies human killer as well recharge 14 and the six percent cooldown built in so that way you will have the max amount of recharge in the whole game usually characters with the six percent are getting 12 percent as a soul trade uh, in this case and as not case uh, both of them have the max recharge in the game you have the floor immunity as well uh, frenzy one berserker 60 damage to the paralyzed damage to the states affected so 80 percent situational damage technique attribute strong attack damage as well and full stamina damage right which is not bad like overall damage wise and stuff like that is really good really handy as well um so it's, it's mainly just like a secondary option in the melee human guild quest if you don't have toshiro right at the same time you maybe can try using the soy phone alongside with toshiro but i'm not sure how that will work out because um that way uh, maybe Soifun is paralyzing the enemies and stuff, you know, with the trap move, and that way Toshiro cannot get the SP boost, stuff like that, you get the point, but that requires further testing, but, um, yeah, I mean, it, it's guaranteed that this Soifun will work as a main option, as a main leader, if you don't have Toshiro in the melee human guild quest, right? These will be the fillers in the banner, last year's January mid mod, the new year units, guild quest, potion, whatever, right, whatever as well, potion, 
link, droplet link, and that's mainly about it, right? So if it's character model, not bad looking stuff like that, but um, definitely you have seen like better looking ones, you get the point bro, because uh, you know, this is again just the Karakura version of Soifon, so it's not like the lost agent form, um, you know, that we have already in the game, that one definitely looks way better. The second skill uh, will be a planting vortex, a 2015 vortex that you just like put down and stays right there. It's gonna be okay in guild quest because with this ability you will stun the enemy boss, right, and you put down the vortex on top of his head, right. Or in other content like in epic raids it's okay, you cannot miss the vortex, you put it down and GG. But in normal PV against like normal enemies and stuff where you have to clear as fast as possible, the vortex is like the worst skill ever, you know, this skill. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's a hit or miss and stuff, but again, they made it for GQ, so I mean, it is what it is, right? Special moves are basic, by the way, you will see it on every unit here, that special moves are most of the times will be basic. It's, you know, it's a basic banner, so it's normal to have basic special moves as well. Um, character model for Shunsui though. But again, you know, looks decent, looks okay, it's a new shoot, so it's the homie, right? And uh, they did some guild quest showcasing here as well, you know, with him and stuff. Uh, you don't really want to use him as a leader, right? You know, he's gonna be on the side lane, not as a main leader, but it's uh, perfectly fine. You know, it's a booster skill and stuff. And um, I have to, like, click here because, I mean, the skills are just, just cooler this way, you see it better. You know, skills are, by the way, the iconic attacks of Shunsu, you know, the Kageyoni here, Bushongoma, stuff like that, you know, the Takeoni, the third, you know, it's, it's iconic stuff for Shunsu, man, you know, so the Shunsu fans are definitely gonna appreciate that one, um, yeah, you get the point, man, looks okay, looks nice, but it's mainly a normal attacker, you get the point. Again, really basic, but I mean, you know, what What can you say, right? I mean, what can you say? Aizen, though, character model again, I like it. I like it, to be fair. I think it looks nice. It looks decent. looks okay, you know? Like, it's, it's the homie Aizen from the Karakura Orc, right? I mean, it is what it is, you know? Like, I think it's okay. Kit-wise, he's really fun to play, really nice as well. Definitely a meta kit that you see, um... I mean, not often, to be fair. You don't really see the launching forward uh, covering, like, the Ishtar launch, the screen type of launch. You know, you don't really see that. But the first ability is a beam with Havoc. The third one is a basic full screen skill. You know, it's good, man. Like, as a, as a unit to play with and stuff, yeah, okay, it doesn't provide you pots or whatever. But uh, it will be a pretty decent unit to play with. He does have the damage as well for the game. Uh, it's not broken or anything like that. But um, definitely, the people that like Aizen is gonna be is gonna be a cool character for them, right? And the classic, classic move of Aizen, right? Really classic as well here. Uh, yeah, the banner comes out at the 16th, you know, the drill already. I mean, it's a cool banner and stuff. You know, definitely a cool banner. I like it, you know, no complaints here. Soifon is a secondary option in Guild Quest, or maybe will be good as a combo with Toshiro. Shinsui will be a holo killer booster unit, normal attacker as well, so it's ideal to use him if you have him. And Aizen will be an all-rounder, basically. He doesn't give you pots or whatever, you get the point. But, I mean, he will be a good Aizen, right? This is an Aizen that you definitely can play with. He's more than strong enough in IT and stuff. You get the point, man. Let me know your opinion about the banner as well, guys. Thank you so much for watching, man. And you know the vibes already. Whatever you are, have a great day slash night. Take care. Bye-bye.